What's up, everybody? Let's go to Monica Hydrophonic. So, I had a couple of things happen to me recently, and I wanted to work on myself because of these things that happened to me. So, as growing up, you know, I've mentioned before, I've been to incarcerated, I've been on the streets and stuff like that. And one of the personality traits that you develop when you're on the streets is, you know, you have to kind of speak up uh, in like larger families. Like, I didn't have any brothers, but I had a lot of cousins, and you got to you got to kind of speak up, or else basically you kind of go hungry in a sense when you're in your in a family but when you get on the streets like you have to have a hustle you've got to do something or you will you know you won't make it you're not you're not going to make it you got to speak up you got to you got to get out there and you got to get it so basically I, I developed this personality trait over many years and uh because i'm no longer in a situation where like i'm on the streets i've actually you know i've moved past that point in my life but the personality trait is still there where it's like I have a strong personality, you know, like I tend to dominate uh, conversations and things like that, which to me, because I wanted to build newer, um, longer lasting relationships with people that maybe don't come from the hood all the time, you know, like I'm not opposed to developing relationships of, like with people who are more like my past, but I'm saying like I want to move forward and some people they find that very abrasive that personality trait they don't understand it because they've never been there and so i decided to start wondering like working on like uh developing a personality trait to where like so one of the things that i do is when i'm if i'm in a conversation with somebody and they say something that i can relate to i get excited and i try to speak into that to try to relate to that person right but what happens is with people who are less vocal it turns into like I'm dominating the conversation and I'm like I'm turning the stuff into me, which is not what I want to do. I'm trying to relate, but it's turning into a thing like where I'm turning it into like it's my thing now instead of their thing. And so I decided I wanted to work on this because that's definitely not what I want to do. I want to build relationships. I don't want to destroy them by having this strong personality or becoming excited, whatever. So uh, that's kind of to the side now. So today... Uh, I was at work and I was it was really warm and it's gonna come back up. I was just kind of an intro uh, I thought about posting this to social media. I'm banned from social media at the moment, so I can't <laughs> and uh, so <clears throat> I was kind of like on my own Kind of in a sense. So as as I was waiting uh, in between jobs at work I, uh, I drove and then I was kind of waiting for the next job to drive and I was chilling out in the van and it was really hot so uh, one of the things that I've been doing lately, and I've been able to channel energies from different, um, different planets. So I'm able to channel planetary energies <clears throat> into um, myself or into other people. So that's actually a service I'm working on uh, developing. Like I've, I've developed different planetary energies. I can connect to them and I can give them to clients, you know. You know so if, uh, like I mentioned before, like on my Facebook page, if you want to, I, I'll, add the, I'll add the link below. It's the Tao of Darkness and Light. I offer that service there. Uh, and I don't really think I charge that much. I think I'm going to start charging maybe like 50 bucks or whatever. So this, this isn't a commercial, so I'm not going to talk about that shit. But anyways, so me being able to channel these planets, uh, my, I'm a Scorpio, so my planets are uh, Mars and Pluto, right? And this is not esoteric astrology. This is like in regular astrology. I'm still learning a lot about astrology. I have not ever been into astrology, but because of the things that have been happening in my life, I've started to I've started to become more interested in astrology because of astrological like the energies in as in astrology, right? So this is kind of where I'm going, and uh, <clears throat> so. I decided to channel, like it was really hot, so I said, I wonder if I channel the Pluto's energy, if it'll be cooler, and if it'll cool me down. So I uh, started channeling Pluto's energy, and I said, let me throw Mars in there, since I'm a Scorpio, Pluto and Mars, or whatever, right? So I'm sitting there channeling the energy, and I channel it through my hand, my palm chakras uh, into my body, and I'm doing that. And I start feeling better, but it's still not, like, I'm not getting cooler, but it's I'm feeling better. So I'm sitting there, like just channeling, like like this, laying down in the van, just doing this, and all of a sudden in my mind's eye, I see, like volcano, volcano, and I'm kind of like volcano, like what is what is this? <clears throat> and then I'm thinking, like how is that going to help cool me off? Because this is what I was doing, right? Um, so 
I decided to look up, I don't remember how the thought process exactly happened, but I decided to look up like Vulcan or volcano, like what was the meaning? I'm like, volcano, like what is what is that what does that word stem from? Right? <clears throat> maybe I, maybe there's something there I need to I need to uh, look at. And I came up with Vulcan. Vulcan is like is a Greek uh, a, a god. So I didn't do a bunch of research on Vulcan. There's like there's so much shit. Now I'm still kind of learning, right? But if Vulcan is a Greek god. It's like basically um, when I what I came across. I got some notes right here. So what I came across in esoteric uh, astrology is that Vulcan rules over the process of breaking chains. So uh, Vulcan is the Greek god of. I don't want to fuck that up. I don't know if Greek or Roman. I'm just going to say Greek or Roman. I'm not positive. I can't really remember which one. Vulcan sounds kind of Romanish, So that's what's kind of throwing me up. But uh, in, either way, I'm sure somebody will correct me or I'll correct myself later. Um, uh, uh, and since Vulcan is the god of like fire and, again, confusing because I'm trying to cool off, <clears throat> fire and like uh, blacksmiths and like the, the, the pit of fire in order to make the chains and shit like that. So he's also the god of like you know forging tools in order to break these chains uh, for the expression of consciousness is what, what this is. So basically, Vulcan is like the like the, the a way to uh, break for away from like your older self in order to like transcend like to your next level. So if there's old habits you want to break and move up, you can use uh, or work with Vulcan in order to do these things which I found very fucking cool. And so uh, I said, all right, well, let me see, because that's exactly what I was doing earlier. What I, that's what I started talking about, what I was talking about earlier. So then uh, I'm like, okay, cool, let's fucking do it, man. Let's, uh, let me figure out how to do a ritual to Vulcan. Well, what I came up with wasn't even, I didn't even need to do a ritual. So uh, I'll share that in a little bit. So I came up with the mantra. Uh, I channeled the mantra. And then I channeled... Uh, I have a sigil that I, a symbol for Vulcan that I found, but the one I channeled looked different. Like this is the one I saw in my mind's eye. So the, this is the one that uh, is in online, but this is the one I saw, which is funny because Vulcan is related to Taurus, esoteric ruler of Taurus. And I don't know if that's why or what, but that's the what. This is the one I saw with the curve. That's the one I saw in my mind's eye. I, but that's after. I came up, I asked for like an activation because I was kind of like thinking maybe I had to use that energy to channel that energy. So I was like, what was there like, I, normally I channel an activation phrase or word. So the phrase, the phrase or word could be either one word or just like a five word phrase, right? So uh, I asked for a phrase in order to activate Vulcan energy for it to flow through me, right? And so, uh, <clears throat> and after that, I can normally just do it through intent. But I do like to chant the mantra while I'm doing it or the word. I'll intone the word while I'm doing the energy work on somebody else and to keep the energy flowing so I can stay focused on what it is I'm doing. Right. So anyway, uh, what I came up with was very interesting to me. Uh, the mantra is Kom Kimini Viaga Volcan Eximini. Now. With some translation and some kind of blah, 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 what I came up with, it basically means travel to the top and exit with Vulcan. Uh, that's, that's what I got that it meant. So like you're like, and it's volcanic. So another thing that I came across when I was looking up Kimini, I was trying to uh, translate some of these words, Monte Kimini. Uh, Monte is mountain in uh, Italian or hills. Kimini is... Basically, this says right here, let me see, Kimini, I uh, translated it, uh, tip top, it's, that's what it means, like tip or the top of something is Kimini. Um, if there, there, I'm sure there's other translate, other things that what it means, but this is, this is what I found, and this is a couple of hours of like research and different shit, like to try to make sure I got like the right thing, because at first I thought I meant volcanic. Well, anyways, Monte Kimini is a... Uh, Kimini Hills arrange uh, densely wooded volcanic hills approximately blah blah blah. So I, I, that was really excited the fuck out of me. I'm like, well, it's some volcanic hills. That's dope. Uh, blah blah blah. And so uh, I thought it was really fucking cool that I. That's kind of just like an insert, like telling me that I was on the right path. I guess with the uh, with the Italian. So in Italian, that's what it. It's also a surname. 
uh, but it's a little bit different. Uh, Kimino, I think, is the family name. Uh, however, Kimini is that. So uh, I'll actually add the phrase in the in the in the, in the uh, description below with uh, my uh, page on Facebook, uh, my my healer page. And so basically, what this mantra does, I actually started saying the mantra over and over. So like, con Kimini Viaga Volcan Eximini. Now, Viaga sounds kind of like Viagra, but it's not. There's no R. It's Viaga. And Viaga means to travel. Uh, Volcan is obviously Vulcan. Uh, and I tend to say a lot of things kind of like in Spanish because that, Spanish is my first language. Uh, you can't really, you wouldn't be able to tell by looking at me, I guess, or whatever. But anyways, and then Eximini is like to exit. So that's what I mean, like to exit to the top of... Uh, so that's what uh, all those words mean, and I kind of just put them together in English. So that's what I mean roughly. Um, and yeah, man, uh, I did this, and oh, and the uh, binaural beat that I got to use, or the tone, was 999. I was trying to channel that. I was getting all kinds of weird numbers, and then I was like, finally about to say, fuck it. Let me just find something, and then it said, like, my mind flashed 999. So I hit in 999, and it was like a really high-pitched noise. I went and sat on my bed for my meditation, putting down my uh, my uh, crystals. I got all that kind of shit all fucking put together, uh, my organ pyramids, and I sat down and I did my whole thing, man. And I was in, as I was saying the mantra, it was even hard for me to do my exercises because I have certain uh, in things that I envision while I'm going through the chakras and everything, uh, energy centers. And so, man, it was just like, I was just like, whoa, dude, and I was just very, it was very swimmy and all kinds of shit. I heard some phrases. I don't remember what they were uh, at this point, but I was in and out, and it was like, basically what I was told is this is to me, this is to kind of break away old chains and move forward in life. You want to get rid of something uh, that's undesirable, this is how you can do it. So you sit down, think of the, the symbol that I showed you. And then chant the mantra, man. Con kimini viaga volcan eximini. And you just do it over and over, you know, do it over and over again. And then uh, until you just feel it. Uh, I use the, uh, there's no Vulcan mantra that I, I, I mean, uh, mudra that I found. So I just use the moon mudra because today is Monday. And if you don't know what the moon mudra is on the palms, this is the moon. So you put the hands together like this. And that's the moon mudra. So... There you go. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, share with your friends. If you hate it, share with your enemies. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, night, uh, whatever. Hope this video made sense. And if anybody has any input, man, you know, share it. That's totally cool.